Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a review on the e.l.f. Cosmetics Camo CC Cream. So I have the product right here. This is what it looks like. I got this in the shade Fair 150C with cool peach undertones. Um, it is one of the lightest shades in the range. Um, this is known to be a dupe for the IT Cosmetics CC Cream, which if you are new to my channel, that is a product that I love and use almost daily. Um, so I am very excited to test this out and see if it's a dupe. So if you guys are interested in seeing how this product performs, then just keep watching. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have no makeup on. I just have my skincare on. Um, I do have obviously quite a bit of a tan. I just got back from vacation. And when I have a tan, I have very uneven skin tone in my face because my melasma just like pops out. So um, we're really going to be able to tell how the coverage is on this. So I am going to use my normal um, primers to really be able to test this. So this is the Smashbox Primerizer and the NARS Radiance Primer. And I just mix those two together and put them all over my face. And I got this before vacation um, because I thought I might take it on vacation, but I didn't get the opportunity to use it before I left. So I figured I would wait. Um, and I got this in the shade Fair 150C with cool peach undertones. I'm not quite sure how that's going to go over. Um, I'm pretty neutral, but now that I have a tan, I feel like I'm a little bit warmer um, than cool. So we will see uh, how that goes. And um, it's in the shade Fair, but it actually looks like it's going to be pretty dark. Like I'm pretty tan right now. So the fact that this is fair, I don't know about that. So I just went ahead and used the Tatcha Silk Canvas to just kind of blur out a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. And I'm just going to put some of this on my mixing palette. And I'm sorry if you hear like a bunch of rattling. I got my cat a new toy and he's very excited about it. So he is playing with that. <laughs> okay, so this is the color. So it looks like it's gonna be pretty close to my skin tone. So I already dampened my beauty blender. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply with a beauty blender um, all over my face. So it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone right now, but I think with bronzer, we'll be able to make it work. Um, upon first application, um, it's a little more pink than my skin tone, but actually I'm just gonna do like half my face so we can really compare it side by side. Um, but it's offering pretty good coverage. But yeah, the shade is definitely not my best shade. Um, but I ordered it online, so I was just kind of guessing. Okay, first impression though, 
That looks pretty good. That's pretty good coverage. So you can see here's the done side. Here's the side with nothing on it. So very good coverage. Um, like I should, said, the shade is a little bit light, but not bad. Okay, so one downside, I used all of that already, so, uh, and that was a good amount of product that I had. Um, so it does take a little bit more product than like the It Cosmetics CC Cream. I mean, but this is a fraction of the price, so. <laughs> Okay, so here's what it looks like all over my face. Um, it looks, I'm just looking in my mirror. It looks pretty good. Like I said, the shade is a little bit off. I look quite a bit lighter than my neck, but the coverage is pretty good. Um, I noticed a little bit of like sinking into my pores, but and like sinking into my wrinkles on my forehead but the coverage is pretty good um it's definitely not as good as the it cosmetics cc cream do i think it's a good drugstore dupe for it um i don't know about a dupe but if you can't afford the cc cream and you want a similar effect this would be a good recommendation Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer and bronzer and see how some product layers on top of it and hopefully we can um, get the color a little more uh, closer to what we're actually at right now. Okay, so the um, cream or liquid products layered pretty nicely on top of it. Um, no like pilling up or anything like that. Um, and I think we're getting a little bit <laughs> closer to um, my skin tone right now um, with a little bit of bronzer and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some prop uh, powder product on top to see how um, it does with that. Now I normally like pat my powder products in um, so I don't really do like swiping motions. Um, you'll see a little bit but normally I just pat my product on so I'm not really um, testing it too much to see if it's gonna just like swipe away when I put my powders on but um, so far it seems to be setting pretty nicely so that is good um, I'm just setting with the Too Faced Peach Perfect um, translucent setting powder in the center of my face and then I'm going to do the rest of my face. Okay, so here we go with all of our face powder products on. Um, 
the settling that I had in the pores right here before um, looks much better now that it is set down. Um, and same for the wrinkles on my forehead looks much better now that it's set down. Um, everything layered nicely. There's no like real pilling or anything like that. Uh, it looks pretty good and now that I have a little bit more coverage from the other products um, I think it looks a little bit better coverage wise um, You can still see like some of my melasma peeking through like really right on this side where it's bad and then on the forehead But it's offering pretty good coverage. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup and then I'll come back for for a final look and we'll see what we think. All right, you guys, I'm back. This is my completed makeup look. Um, and I just wanna give you kind of my thoughts on the product now that I have everything on my face. First off, um, it's a very creamy formula, but it goes on very lightweight. It's easy to blend out. It doesn't feel cakey. Like my, I feel like I can move my face and it doesn't feel all dry and cracky. No, it's, um, I mean, it says it has skincare benefits in it. It has collagen, peptides, and niacinamide known to plump, hydrate, and smooth the appearance of your skin while protecting it with SPF 30. So all of those are great things to have um, in your CC cream. Um, it has a natural finish, I would say. Um, I do have highlight on and I do have powder on. So the highlight is making it glow a little bit more and the powder is mattifying a little bit, but um, yeah, I would say that it has a natural finish. Um, it's very comfortable to wear. Um, it claims to be full coverage. Um, I would say that it probably could fall in the full coverage category, um, but it's not full, full coverage. It's, um, you know, on the lighter end of full coverage. So um, whether you want to classify that as medium buildable um, or just full, it's kind of um, at that mark right there. Like I said before, you can still see some of the discoloration right here. Um, again, on the forehead as well. Um, this side though looks pretty well covered. The center of my face looks pretty well covered. My nose is known to get quite red um, and peek through and it's not doing that. It covered all of that redness. Um, it just had a little bit of difficulty covering that deeper toned um, hyperpigmentation. Um, but all in all, I would say that it is a very good product. Um, the only concern that I have is I would say that the shade range runs a little bit dark. Um, this is a fair shade and I am not very fair right now and it blends in pretty well with my tan on my neck. It's slightly lighter than um, my neck shade, but I think with the other products, I was able to blend it pretty well, but I am concerned that this is going to be too dark when my tan fades, um, because when I'm not tan, I am very fair and I have a feeling that this is going to be too dark, um, which I do have other foundation products that I can use in the winter months and maybe this is more um, like a summer uh, product for myself but all in all I would say that it is a very good product especially for the price point. So this retails for $14 at Ulta. Um, I haven't been able to get my hands on it or see it on the shelves anywhere else. I think it's um, been kind of flying off the shelves because it has a lot of hype as being a dupe for the It Cosmetics CC Cream. Um, I don't 
think that it's a direct dupe, but the CC cream retails for, I believe, $38, and this is $14. So for a fraction of the price, I would say that it is good. And you could always um, use concealer in some of the spots where you need more coverage to kind of make up for um, the lack of coverage, but you're still going to get a lot of coverage from this product. Um, so I was just looking on the website. I got the third lightest shade. So they ha this is 150. They have 140 and 120. Um, it doesn't look like there's much color variation between the three of them um, other than the undertones. So one is neutral one is warm and one is cool, um, but they all seem to be like in the same shade range. So um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to use this year round, but um, they do ha have a good amount of shades. It says there's 16 options on the Ulta website. So pretty good for a new product, especially um, one at this price point. Um, so I would say that if you have been thinking about purchasing this, I would definitely go ahead and recommend it at this point. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.